Call sign Blackbeard, Navy SEAL CTU, Operation Dustline. Hey guys, this is the Brick Wall. I'm coming to you today with a review of the new Operator Blackbeard from the uh, Operation Dustline DLC. So starting off here with his kit, he has a Scar Age variant and a DMR, Desert Eagle, Breaching Charge, and Stun Grenade. So his special thing is he has a rifle shield. As you watch here, he go. I go into a room with uh, three guys in it and uh, clear it out here, taking bullets the whole time but I didn't take a single point of damage because of that rifle shield he has on him. And so, what that rifle shield does, it kind of pr protects his head area. It's kind of like upper chest and head region. And so it allows him to take a couple extra bullets when he might not. And this here is a demonstration of the stopping power of the Desert Eagle. Yeah, I lived. Two bombers and I took a bolt down with that Desert Eagle. I mean, it was luck, but you know. So what he's really good at is he is a pretty aggressive rusher. He is that he's um he'd probably be the replacement for a shield going in headlong. And he uh he can clear rooms pretty well because he can take a couple extra bullets before he goes down. Um along with that his rifles are really good. I mean the the Scar H variant has only 21 rounds in it when you have that extra one in the chamber. So it's not, you know, it doesn't have a ton of ammo to play around with, but if you're accurate with your shots, it takes them down really fast. But we're getting into the negatives here. Now you'll notice how fast I was running before I put that rifle shield on. Put it on, your sprint speed slows pretty noticeably when you put that rifle shield on, so you can't rush nearly as fast. So if you're the type of player who likes to blitzkrieg, it doesn't really work. Also, in PvP especially, I found he's not as effective as you would think he would be. I know originally when I thought when I saw the concept for him. I thought he was going to be super overpowered. But as you look here, his head is actually pretty exposed for having a shield supposed to be covering it. And you'll see a similar story here. This one in a uh, terrorist hunt. Where I go in, I mean, obviously I missed some shots here, but he, you know, he definitely is not super invulnerable like some of the shields can be sometimes. And you'll see here, from this uh, perspective of another person, his head model's really big. It pops out pretty high off that shield, and it's, um, you know, it's harder to hit. It's definitely harder to hit, but not impossible. Not only that, he also doesn't take too kindly to shotguns. As you'll see here in the kill cam, most people tend to aim center mass with shotguns, and his shield does absolutely nothing for that center mass shot. And then coming up here, this was me playing as Frost. And you'll see here from the other perspective, there's Blackbeard poking around that corner. Hardly had a chance. And it's just because that center mass shotgun can take him down real quick. But if you learn how to use him properly, he has some pretty big upsides, especially if you like playing Terrorist Hunt, because he can eat quite a few bullets from the Terrorist and Terrorist Hunt before he goes down. You just you need What you need to do with with Blackbeard is you need to, you know, you need to still take your corners carefully. You need to kind of, you know, only poke your head around as little as you can around your corners. And you need to avoid what I like to call immortality syndrome, or, or you know, something to that effect where it's like, um, you think because you have this shield covering your head, you're invulnerable. But in reality, all you need is one good bullet to the, you know, one good bullet to the body or one that just so happens to slip over the top of that shield to take you out. Because you're not Blitz, you're not Montane. All you're really covering is your head area. You know, you can see here, like, I should have I should have gone down those stairs instead of trying to challenge that second guy. You can all see that ammo capacity working against me, because with a full-auto rifle with only 20 shots in it, you run out of ammo really fast. But, what I did also find is that in PvP here, uh, I was using DMR here, but I found that a little bit of distance is actually quite effective. So here I was shooting through this window with his DMR. And you know, you can see here the bullet the uh, shield has taken a few bullets for me. And it's kind of nice because at this range it's a lot harder to to hit that headshot over the top of the shield. And so I'll be kind of you know, peeking around in here, but you know, once again, I make sure to bow out every once in a while because I'm not I'm not a riot shielder, you know. If he gets too many pot shots at me, eventually one of them's going to land. But if you keep peeking in and out like you should be, you can win those gunfights because he'll have a hard time getting around that shield. And then, 
I just wanted to show you guys this one, because this was another time where the shield kind of uh, saved me here. It's going to go in uh, fast speed here. It's kind of playing through. There's a guy. He's to my left. This is on the new map, by the way. He's to my left, and he's on the other side of that wall that's on my left. But I can't really... I don't know exactly where he's at at this point. I'm kind of waiting for him to make the move, but I realize that he's not going to make a move. So I go to my drone that's conveniently placed in there. realize he's right there behind that shield. And so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump in. He hears that, throws a nitro cell, but not even close. Throw that flashbang to blind him. And I'm going to come around here. I should have I should have rushed more aggressively. He ended up coming up here. I take a lot of damage here, but uh, I'm pretty sure the, the shield ate at least a couple of rounds for me and allowed me to win that round. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.